Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Will Homescream and welcome back to another day in Destiny 2 for some more Destiny 2 news and Lightfall Season of the Wish Intel. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very easy cheese that will allow any solo player to acquire the new exotic bow, the Wish Keeper, as easily and as fast as possible. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And turn on the bell to post notifications so you never miss out on any future Destiny 2 Lightfall content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. Any of those things really help to support the channel, so I very much appreciate it. I'm going to take you through all the different steps of this particular quest. And then, of course, round it out with a very easy cheese. The first part of the quest will require you to head over to the Spirit of Riven. You will need to be up to date with the seasonal activity in order to access this exotic quest. But once you go to Riven, she'll have a new quest for you, which will send you over to this new area in the helm, the Apio phase. I'm not totally sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but once you complete that, which is still technically part of the seasonal activity, you'll be sent back to the helm where you'll get some interesting dialogue from a cutscene with Crow, after which the new exotic mission Starcrossed will become available to you through the helm. As you can see, it didn't actually appear here for me on my minimap, but that just meant that I had to actually step away from Crow, away from the cutscene, in order to actually have it appear. But once I did, it was there on my minimap in the helm. Starcrossed is a very interesting exotic quest. It's sort of a cross between The Last Wish as well as the Garden of Salvation. Aesthetically, very much like Garden of Salvation, but some of the mechanics of Last Wish and sort of a combo of the two of them. Fairly easy mechanics to understand. A lot of them require you just getting a particular buff that will allow you to kill an enemy in a zone that you otherwise wouldn't be able to access in a specific order which they'll designate very much in the same way that the Last Wish does or the Shattered Throne. I also did find that there are several glitches, ways to get out of the map in this particular exotic mission. I don't know how that will come in handy later on but there might be some potential skips down the road. There's also a secret chest that you can get at the beginning that was accessible as soon as we actually went into the exotic mission. This wasn't in the legendary version, this was just in the normal version. Though you might want to wait to get this or this particular secret chest until you are doing it on legendary as the reward might be better. Though my buddy Sinister, big shout out to him for helping me do this today, was able to get a red border from this chest. No others that we could find, but this was in the very first area. So I haven't seen too many exotic missions with a secret chest in it like this before. At least not one that just rewarded a weapon, but there could be more. Now once you get to the final boss, the Big Hydra, there are two very easy cheeses. One which I think will benefit any group of players, and another one that is more specifically for solo players, but will actually, I think, enable them to get this done fairly easily, even if they're trying to attempt this at the legendary difficulty. It might be the only way for a solo player to get this done fairly easily, I say fairly, at the legendary difficulty. But the first one can be done simply by, if you have some teammates staying outside of the actual boss room, you can actually stand up on the platform where you enter right above the two buffs. There's no turn back barrier here, nothing can hit you. You can, as you see, occasionally get the Hydra shield around you, but no bother because you can just shoot out of it. Now, this relies a lot more on your teammates, of course, doing the heavy lifting, but when there is a wipe mechanic like there is on Legendary and you don't want to wipe, this might be a way to get a flawless run done or if you're just trying to get through it without actually wiping and having to restart this encounter over and over again, just have two teammates or one teammate really do the encounter while the other just stays in safety and stays alive. The other cheese, which I think is really the better one overall and will help a group as well as a solo player at any difficulty, is 
that you can actually shoot through the shield above the two buffs. Now, this requires you to sort of be right up next to the shield, but once you are, the enemies can't hit you here. Occasionally, again, you will get the Hydra shield around you, but without the adds actually shooting you, it won't be that big a deal to get out of. But this would allow for plenty of cover for your teammates. You can take care of all the adds this way. You can do damage to the boss, though I wouldn't use heavy ammo unless you're maybe using a machine gun. I would see that using and working out fine. Don't use a rocket launcher, though. A rocket launcher, anything slow moving, as you can see, melee attacks don't get through the wall. I don't believe a rocket launcher would actually get through as well. But heavy machine guns would probably work. Special weapons and primary ammo worked fine. There didn't seem to be any range reduction on them. I wasn't using any special perks that allowed me to do this, any particular mod, as I was just using a regular auto rifle. So if you're doing this solo, I think this will come in very handy. And if you're trying to attempt this at Legendary, I think this will also be equally as handy. And that's going to be it for all the information in today's video. Hopefully you found something in this video helpful. Personally, I really didn't find myself enjoying the Wishkeeper that much. Maybe that was just me personally. Maybe it's because I'm not really a big bow user normally, but... I did have high hopes that this would pair well with some of the strand builds that I like running. I didn't find that the overall time to kill really made the intrinsic exotic perk activate often enough, and even when it would activate, it seemed very inconsistent. It would occasionally work, and it only seemed to work when I had maybe one or two enemies in a large group of adds left alive, and then it would cue the web to take out you know the last latter half of two red bar ads but overall i just found that the direct crit damage was a little too low to make the intrinsic perk feel really active often enough to make it worth it but that just might have been me so let me know about your experience if you've gotten the wish keeper in the comment section down below or maybe a better strand build that this pairs with what you've been liking Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the bell to post notifications so you never miss out on any future Destiny 2 Lightfall content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter. They'll be linked in the description box down below. Remember, any of those things also enter you into any future giveaways on this YouTube channel, and we do want every 1,000 subscribers, so you never want to miss out. We're almost up to 74,000 subscribers, I believe. And, when, of course, when we reach 100,000 subscribers, we'll be giving away an Xbox Series X. If you've watched till this point in the video, you can leave a hashtag Season of the Wish or a hashtag Wishkeeper or a hashtag Lightfall, or you can leave a comment telling me about your experience using Wishkeeper in the comment section for another entry into the next giveaway for this video. And remember, I do those secret hashtags on all videos. So if you haven't done this on a previous piece of content on this channel, you can always go back, check out another video, comment, and of course, do it again. And once more, I'm Wilhelm Scream. Thanks so much for watching, and of course, we will see you next time.